What's up YouTube? My name is Jen Neal from Res Inspired. Welcome back. Today's video is another Arteza bloom technique. I just wanted to briefly talk to you about the simplest recipe that you can use for the bloom technique. Ultimately, you do need untinted house paint. You do need a white house paint for the pillow. So you can get little sample sizes if you can't afford the gallons. It's semi-gloss ultra white for Glidden Premium. They come in little jars with red labels. Okay, they're like two or three bucks at Home Depot. Then you get the Glidden Premium Untinted Base 3. Your pouring medium is very simple. It's one part varnish. It has to be a water-based varnish to two parts of your untinted base. But you mix those two together and then for soft body paints, uh, some of the color shifts, things like that, I always do a one-to-one -one ratio. So after I mix the one part of varnish to two parts of the untinted base, then I use one part of that pouring medium to one part of paint, okay? So if I'm using a teaspoon of, you know, bronze, then I'm using a teaspoon of pouring medium. If I need to thin it up in any way, I can add some water. You can also add a couple drops of varnish. It's up to you. You don't wanna add too much water because then you cross the, that threshold where the pigment starts to, um, it'll dry a lot more duller than what it's supposed to. So I'm always like a couple drops of water, stir it up. If it still isn't really reacting the way I want to, I'll add a little bit of varnish in and usually that's all it takes. Now for heavy body paints, that's a totally different story. But for just this video, acrylics and soft bodied acrylics, that's how I do it. I do use the Craftnik gel stain for acrylic paints. I do like using the Grand Finale Top Coat for the Primary Elements Micas. If you don't have Craftnique or can't afford to make that purchase, any water-based polyurethane will work. You don't have to have Craftnique to make it work. The one thing that does make, make everything work is the Amsterdam Titanium White or the Amsterdam, uh, I think it's Carbon Black. I'm not sure, whichever the one is that's opaque, uh, whatever's in it. It has a cell reaction that, you know, reacts on top of your puddles. So I'm usually one part of the Amsterdam Titanium White to two or three parts of Floetrol. And then I add a couple drops of water in there and I whip it up. You can modify it a little bit, but I like one part paint to three parts Floetrol. I know a couple other artists are kind of like the opposite and they use more paint and less Floetrol. And some people use Australian Floetrol. Nope, I'm American Floetrol, Amsterdam Titanium White. You know, I got, I picked these colors out to go with the color scheme that I'm following. So we have Aztec Gold, which I also mixed with uh, Pearl Golden Hour. These are all metallics from Arteza. Then uh, the Pearl Turquoise, it's like a mermaid color. I put all the paint on the top so you can actually see what it looks like when it dries. Pearl Deep Brown. Then I have uh, Pearl Tangerine Orange. Pearl Lime Green. This guy is Pearl Electric Blue. I added a little bit of the Thalo Blue from Arteza and then a drop of Craftnik's Black Colorant. The colorants from Craftnik are strong enough to, un to, to tint your untinted house paint. So I mean, th there's endless possibilities, but I wanted to simplify this recipe for you guys because, you know, <laughs> the alter ego mad scientist kind of fell into my lap and I yeah, I might as well rock with it because, yeah, I like to modify and destroy everything. So, <laughs> anyway, love it or hate it, um, I've learned a lot. So, I hope you liked the video. Let's get started. All right, so here we go. I have a 12 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. It's not the deep one, but it's gallery wrap. Perimeter of brown, I think. like that just 
just a little bit and I'm just trying to switch it up okay this is the lime green I'm gonna put that all the way through this is pearl pearl lime this is the pearl turquoise Just a little bit there. I have some black made up. Um, I'm gonna put some brown down first. Yes. 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 I have the orange. So you see how I'm circling my blow dryer? That pushes more for me. Okay. Well, that's cool. I blew my <laughs> I blew my popsicle stick off the off the canvas. We gotta get some photos of this. Yeah, I'm gonna pause you guys and take some beautiful photos, and then we'll be back to stretch. But look at that. Mm. Oh my gosh! You have no idea how much time I put into this. Just wanting it, wanting it to work. Mm, that is so delicious looking. Let's see how close I can get you. I don't want you to go over the edge. Please don't do that. You cannot do that to me yet. Wow. Oh, that is so beautiful. Look at that. Yes. Okay, guys, here we go. The moment of truth. We are going to stretch. Okay. Just got to get over here just a little bit. Okay, let's come back. No, let's come down. And then let's come back. Who doesn't want to listen? Watch. Not doing it anymore. We are straightening up and calling it a day. That's kind of cool. It's like a wave. I wish I could bring that down more, but nope. You know what? I, I just I just can't bring myself to doing it. Ah, oh, anything else? We're stopping. Yep, that's it. Totally done.
I hope you, <laughs> I hope you guys like that. Because I do. But what I like is irrelevant now because I get color shock. Close up. Mmm. God, that's crazy looking. Look at the colors, you guys. This is Arteza and Primary Elements, which I have coupon codes in the bottom for both. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Alright. Thanks for sticking with me. See you next time. Bye.